Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Omi and today we're back playing our jump schedule in Starters Order 6. So it's been a little while since I've played this. Um, had a few things to sort out in real life so there hopefully wasn't too much of a delay in the videos. But I know it's been a little while since this series has come up so we're going to jump back into things. Now for those of you that don't know, maybe you just stumbled across this video, you haven't seen some of the others that I've had on this channel in Starters Orders. I basically, I normally play the US schedule in a mod called Start It, which is very much a flat schedule and I know exactly what can happen in those kind of races, what I'm looking for in a horse, how to book a race and everything else. Now I'm in the UK so there's different courses, different races. And they're not as flat as the American courses, it's very much undulating terrain. So that's slightly different. And then of course you get in the jumps and there's different types of jumps. And for someone who doesn't know horse racing very well, like myself, it is a little bit confusing to get to grips with. But that's what we're trying to do. We've got one horse at the moment, Batchworth Dancer, who we have been running. And um, she's not been too bad. She's not been too bad. Now, I think I messed the first two races up. I think what I've been told is you run them in flat races for a few races just to see where she is. And then you will try and run them in a novice hurdle. And then only later on do you move to novice chases. Now, I started with a novice chase and then moved on to the novice hurdle. I'm down to the flat. So that's the completely wrong way. Luckily, she won all three races. Since then I've gone back to novice hurdles, the only thing else I could find has been novice handicaps. We did really well in the first one of those, but not really good on the second. It says stayed on same pace. So I'm thinking maybe we need a little bit more than two and a half, maybe to test Batchworth Dancer. That's what we're going to look for. And then we've got Sita who... I'm not sure what that is. That's like 20% stamina bar. In in the US schedule, I'd run her at a mile. So I don't know what this is going to turn out like. Um, yeah, I really don't know kind of what distance I'm looking for here. I think it's a two... I think it's two miles that we're looking for about that uh, stamina bar. And we do have a flat race. So I might just throw her in there. And kind of see what we do, you know? We're going to kind of see what we can do with Sita. Now, she is laid back, which Batchworth Dancer isn't. So I do like that trade. If I can breed that into a line of horses. And get a good sort of fall out from Sita and someone else. Then I can pair that up with a full finish application, decent cruising burst and everything else that Patchworth Dancer gives. And then later on add more and more potential to it by breeding in better and better horses. I think we might have the beginnings from these two fillies, or these two mares I should say, they're old enough now, to actually put together a really nice horse. So I'm kind of hoping that that is the case. I am kind of hoping that is the case. So, grade 3 handicap. Or do I want to move up to 2 6 in a novice? Yeah, that's too soon anyway. That's too soon. So, we are going to try a novice hurdle. 14th of Feb, 10 days. Um, Yeah, that's a better sort of time, I believe. So, Batchworth Dancer, she outclasses all the other horses in that race so I'm hoping that she really does quite well in there so we don't have enough money to go to auctions so I'm just gonna skip to the day of the next race and that will be Sita so let's get her debut out of the way we bought her in the auction in the last video uh, for those of you who don't know another youtuber who actually records starters orders um, she had a series where she had a horse called Sita 
It turned out not to be a very good horse, but um, very enjoyable series. Very enjoyable series. If I remember, there'll be a link down in the description to Surveyor and uh, her channel. So you can go and find her starters orders content. I'm sure it'll be linked in the recommended videos anyway. But um, yeah, I've had some great times watching that. So when I saw the name Sita come up at the auction, I had to go in. I had to go in. Now, fourth place in this field, that's not bad. I'm okay with that. Neutrina's a favourite, but carrying an extra six pounds. So I like our sort of odds there. Rock Ace. So we're looking at the green, the bright green there. Queen Borussia. So the blue and red stripes. And I don't think Neutrina, with that extra weight, they shouldn't be in here. So if I've got the distance correct, which I'm really hoping I do, this should be a win for Sita. So let's go to the races and find out if that is the case. So this is going to be a little bit of a slow start in terms of this save. I know it's going to take me a couple of years to get sort of used to things and sort of make sure I know what the horses are going to be like and maybe even get a good horse. So on the inside there, that's one of our challenges. We can see another one there and we're just fading out towards the back seater is going straight to the back Borussia and uh, Rock Ace there are together at this point with Rock Put Rosa just in between them both positionally on the field and in the standings they're chasing down Tanner of the Grey for second place and Little Promised Land is way out ahead and I believe we're coming up to the first jump sometime soon. So we'll see how well Sita can jump as well. So we are in air, Scotland. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the entire field. Um, just so we can see how people are jumping. Because Sita at the moment seems to be running a little bit down towards the back. You can see the undulations in the background there. Which, of course, the American flat courses don't. So we're coming down a hill now. And uh, yeah, Bella Chica, Nadia, Neutrina at the back with Sita. And then over the risk, Simpre, Queen Borussia, Tara the Grey, Rock Ace, Rock Put Rosa. And up front, still Little Promised Land, nobody challenging. So, uphill. Now we're going to go downhill. Oh, this is a flat race, of course. This is not a jumps race. Silly me. I saw the jumps on the course and I immediately thought because this is a jumps game. But this is actually a National Hunt flat race, which is basically, I think, for finding the distance of your horse. So you race your horse over these kind of distances and you'll figure out if they've got the length required. So we see here i think we can speed up a little bit nothing much is going to happen for the next three to four furlong see sita here at the back towards the outside five abreast now chasing down second place tara the gray sita making a little bit of headway as is neutrina and well sita seems to be uh oh why 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 did sita go inside why did sita go inside there that's just kind of oh if instead of going in between us, you'd have come around the outside and sat out on the shoulder of the number one horse, Sisbury, I think she would have had a much better chance of actually fighting for that line. Sisbury does, in fact, go out ahead over the risk is there. Sita looks to be coming now into fifth place. She's not going to be able to do much more than that, so she won't pick up anything else. But fifth place in this flat always outpaced uh five lengths back not good so maybe it's just a lack of quality in the horse but it didn't seem like that distance hurt her it really didn't seem too much like that distance hurt her so i'm gonna go back with two miles a little bit further on into the schedule and i'm gonna put her in a maiden hurdles because why not why not she might be able to do something there so we're going to skip again and see if Batchworth dancer can continue her fairly decent form considering i know she isn't a great horse 
So two mile six is an extra furlong than she has been running. Um, maybe I need to do more. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm still trying to find the distance here. I don't think that she's still running two five. Maybe she just had a bad race. We'll see. If the jockey says this is too far, then at least we know. Again, though, we come in fourth place in terms of the opening betting. Um, which really worries me because we should be the highest rated horse by, yeah, 27 points. But Woodcock Place is actually the one there. Underweight. Yeah, that's probably the horse to beat. So green with the white stripes. I'd expect to see coming through and maybe, you know, challenging for the win. This is a hurdles race. This is not another flat race. So. We shall see how things get off. And we are at the back. You can see there in the middle of the field, number 10, Woodcote Place. Currently in fourth position. So, a way to go in this. Three very similar jockey silks on that uh, inside. Two, I believe, are the same. A third that might not be. Yeah, it's not the same. So, oh, that was the first jump. So let's try not to miss any other jumps. But I do kind of want to focus a little bit on Batchworth Dancer rather than the front runners here. Just so I can see how well she is jumping and kind of, uh, you know, how she's doing. So that's okay. It's nothing special, but it's okay. So my wrist, Glinger Mill, Eve Zara, Swift Lord at the back. Batchworth Dancer leading those four. Seattle Sounder, see you there. Kudo Pearl and uh, Temple Place. Harris Tweed up into fourth, leading up that little group. Woodcock Place is currently in third. Seemed to hang a lot on that jump. Good jump there for Temple Place, moving up into fourth. Randolph O'Brien is in second with King Fong leading the way and um, probably quite handily. Doesn't look troubled. Decent jump for both, decent jumps. Looks there like Bachelor Dancer gained a little bit of ground, was able to move up a tiny bit amongst its uh, its peers there in the chasing pack. So we're currently up into fifth. We shouldn't be blocked in. We should be able to make a move if we need to. So I am going to speed up a bit. And we didn't seem to jump that particularly well. Not particularly badly either, but we do seem to be pulling away from this chasing pack a little. We're comfortable now in fifth. Again, not too great a jump. So, we will see what we can do coming up to the next jump. We got nine furlongs left. We are still holding on to fifth, and that was a decent jump. You can see... We're making a little bit of progress on fourth place after that jump. So that usually indicates a good jump where I can gain some ground afterwards. We are now up into fourth. And that was... Well, I don't know if it was a good jump for us or if Woodcut Place actually fell back a bit. Seattle Sound is coming on the outside. Six furlongs left. And we shall see... Oh, that was a beautiful jump by Batworth Dancer. Straight past Woodcut Place. Not really able to push it back further. We are now going a little bit more to the outside. A little bit of clear ground ahead of us as we are starting to push now. Four furlongs. What a jump from Batchworth Dancer there. That is going to be good enough to steal second place on that jump. We are now rounding this turn. Have we got what it takes to rail in King Fong? I don't know. I don't know. So we're coming up now to a jump. A little bit of a speed there. Just to make sure we can see this properly. We move out again into clear territory. Not a better jump than King Fong there. Didn't see too much wrong with it. Randolph O'Brien does seem to be trying to catch up with us. We are tiring now. 1.2 furlongs to go. A great jump by Randolph O'Brien there. But Batchworth Dancer is going to be pulling away here. King Fong... In first, but Batchworth Dancer in second. Swift Lord has pulled up. And Woodcote Place not really able to do too much. 
So King Fong 105 rated the second best horse in the field. And that is, um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much what I expected. Looks like we're up to 129. That looked good to me. We're beginning to pick up. So we still need more distance. So I was right that we needed more distance. I didn't go far enough. So we're probably looking towards... Was that 2.6? So we're probably looking towards 3 miles now for Batchworth Dancer, which is the breeding indicated distance. So yeah, let's go and see, is there anything there? We're going to do two races with each horses, with each of our horses. So um, a little bit further on, so Novice Handicap, that's a chase. Grade one, I do not believe that that is gonna be any good for us. Mm. That is a prize race, and those horses are too good for us anyway. Have we got anything a little bit less? What have we got a two seven? Anything fun? Not really. What about three one then? Nope. Three two, no hurdles. Two six again. There are some two sixes, but we really do need to test this horse a little bit more. So I think we can't really go in too much there. But we've got a novice and we've got a a listed handicap. There's a 140 in here who should probably win. The rest of the horses aren't too dissimilar though. So that should put us at a little bit of an advantage. We are a female horse, so we do carry three pounds less. So I'm gonna be Yeah, I'm gonna be trying out in a feature race. The Spa Novices Hurdle. So let's see what Sita can do in her second race. And yeah, it's a maiden, so hopefully that will be... Um, I just skipped the day's racing, and she did nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Held up. Settled towards rear. Last halfway. Yeah, 15 lengths back. I mean, that's just... Yeah, Sita is not a horse that I feel comfortable persevering with racing. Uh, we're not going to have enough money to actually sort things out. I don't have field space. So I can't send it to the breeding barn. I can't send it to field space. So Sita this season is going to be largely ignored. Uh, but she will go in the breeding barn. We will give her a shot. So 10 days time. Batchworth Dancers second race. Our fourth of the afternoon. There is an auction. Is there anything fun I really don't think so. So, okay, let's go to this auction then. And the auction, this day's racing again, the fourth favorite match with Dancer. We are, oh, look at that, 145 now. So, Maverick now has won another race, gone up another five points, is a little overweight. So, that might help us. King Fong is back in this. We know that King Fong can beat us, but we did need more distance. So I'm going to say we've got a decent shot here. I think we've got a good chance at getting top three. We might even have a chance at winning the race. Fingers crossed. So, Oh, it's raining. I don't know how she runs in the in the rain. But there we go. The grey horse in the middle of all the others. This is a big field, ladies and gentlemen. Alkalij, King Fong. Wrap it up, boys. Exit to freedom. Isingi Red, Ellie Ray, Ask Archer, Cactus Ridge. Bin end, Batchworth Dancers in there as well with most welcome Agent Blue, Zaza Mix and Kurt in time. Caravan rolls on towards the back with Quattasy, Bright Decision, Maverick, Kentish and Montauk Highway. Oh boy. So yeah, Maverick here on the back on the outside. That seems to be them. Nice little jump there for, who's that, Quasity maybe? So yeah, not not too bad so far. Bachelor Dancer got a decent line on the outside, not being blocked in behind this insider's 
So she is moving to the inside. But let's see, can we get a good jump if we get good field position before it comes up to a hurdle and she gets a good jump? Can we gain some position? That looked like a heavyish landing, but she's coming out of it decently well. King Fong still out ahead as we've seen him run before. Undulating course, we're now going downhill into this sweeping left turn. And we can see no jumps for a little bit of a while. So let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Get to a point where we can see again we're still on the outside. Maverick still behind most of the field. A little bit of a heavy landing again there for Batchworth, but nobody particularly jumped that very well, I'd say. So Maverick now is right at the back. Curtain time is detached, so I don't expect too much from that. But Maverick at the back of this pack is the quality horse in terms of rating 145 i believe we were the second or third highest at 129 so i would expect to see them come good towards the end of the race let's speed up again okay didn't seem to be a particularly good jump again for us And that was a long, long sweeping turn before we come back up towards another jump. We have fallen towards the back of the pack. Maverick now directly on our flank, trying to catch up to us a little bit. So that was decent from us, decent from Maverick, but nobody's really making too much moves at this stage in the race. Still 10 furlongs to go, a little over a mile. Agent Blue is out of this oh good jump inside there for somebody cactus ridge i believe that is number three just the inside of us but no real headway made can we get a good jump on the outside we're going to make a little bit of room for ourselves a little bit of distance get up on that outside so we are a little far back for my liking at this stage but this is probably our distance. So let's see how we jump that. Not great on the inside. It seems like Maverick is making a, a little bit of progress up the field, but no, it looks there like someone else has pulled up to me. It looks like someone's pulled up. Maverick is out of the race indeed. I seem to, uh, be a little sort of uh, light-footed there after the jump, as if it didn't want to put any pressure on its feet at all. The, the hooves were hurting probably after a heavy landing. Five furlongs left to go. We've still got King Fong out. He's detached at the front at this point. We've got a big chasing group sort of holding uh, position at this point, ready to strike from Cactus Ridge all the way up to Al Khalij. We've got Batchworth Dancer now trying to find some position on the outside. Maybe looking to attack and get in a little bit of a push as the final sprint for the line will start to develop. We're outside, we're inside, we're coming back outside. This is probably not the best work by the jockey, but we are coming up the outside. Isn't he red? Is past. Cactus Ridge might be next. Can we do anything from the outside? It's a decent jump. It's a good run. It looks here, though, that uh, Most Welcome is going to be pushing us all the way. And we're just going to hold on. I think that's like a six or a seven, so not the worst in the world. Not the worst in the world at all. But, yeah, a little disappointing. There was another 129. The 145 pulled up. We don't know what Maverick would have done at the end of that race. But really, we were beaten, beaten by horses that we should have at least competed with a bit more. 7.8, King Fong went all the way on their own. That 128 rating up to a 135 deserves it. Batchworth Dancer, 129, up to a 130. So we did gain. We did gain. Trip appeared to suit well. There we go. So we're looking at three furlongs for Batchworth Dancer. We're moving up the rating and we're moving up in terms of distance. We're now at 
her breathing distance of three miles. That was our first feature race. We did not get embarrassed. We did not really do too badly at all. So she's not a feature race runner, but three miles, maybe we start looking at running her in chases rather than hurdles. We'll see how that goes. And if she can actually jump the actual, uh, the bigger fences. So her jump bar at the moment is at 50%. I'm not sure exactly how good that is. But you can see she's got 50% ability potential. Her speed potential seems to be pretty decent as well. Good training adaptability. I'm not sure what age they sort of stop their development. But I think Batchworth Dancer is a pretty decent horse for year one. And we're starting to understand a little bit more about that stamina bar and what each distance kind of means and where we want to run our horses. So hopefully Batchworth Dancer can get back to winning ways, really start sort of uh, earning a little bit more money because we're down 20,000 from where we began the episode, at least 20 grand. Uh, not great, but we're learning. We've got a, a nice little safety margin in place. Breeding wise, we've got a decent horse to start with in Batchworth Dancer. Sita does have the laid back trait. If I can merge those two, get Batchworth's abilities with Sita's laid back, and then breed that to a horse with really high potential, I think we'll have something to really build off for years to come. But uh, that's about going to do it for us. I don't know what big races are left. So March, April. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to compete for any of these feature races. But uh, long term, my goal is to get a nice winner over in France at the end of the season. I think that would be a nice little, uh, nice little test of our abilities. Can we win on the continent? There's a couple of Irish races as well, which we could, of course, go for as well. Um, and yeah, apart from that, there's the Grand National. There are a couple of big races in Britain. So we will be looking at those as well. This is the schedule. Feel free to pause the video at any point to pick out some races. And um, yeah, these are kind of what's available. So when we get a good horse, we'll be going for some of these at varying distances. But like I say, for, you know, for now, I think we're in a good position. I don't think we need to buy anything else just yet. When we get about 600,000, I'll be willing to buy the breeding facilities and uh, get Sita in there straight away. Maybe even buy a young male horse that, uh, you know, is very, very cheap off the breeding, uh, sorry, off the um, auction and see if we can put him in the breeding barn and see maybe him and Sita could produce something. Or maybe just, you know, something I can sell for a million, get some money in the bank and actually then flesh out the rest of our facilities but yeah i'm fairly happy i'm still learning i hope you're enjoying the series uh if you do have any advice leave it for me in the comment section below you can catch me on twitter at chris or me you know link to that will be in the description below as well but until next time guys thanks for watching i hope you come back to fens lodge soon for more racing with Batchworth Dancer, Sita, and me, Chris Army. Until then, guys, take care.